Hi, it's George Cobia. Welcome to my court. Today we're talking about the loop, the loop in the swing, whether it be a forehand or a backhand. And looping your racket takes out the thought process that it takes to fire the gun. So in other words, what I mean by this, if you, if you take your racket straight back and your racket stops, then you have to start your racket again. So that's not a very efficient way to hit a ball. And you can lose some uh, control over the ball. So basically, when you loop the racket, the racket is in a constant motion. And that's real important for anything that might happen to the ball when it lands. So if the ball were to hit a line, it moves or it slows down or speeds up or moves to the right or moves to the left. Well, your racket is already in motion. So to make a correction is very, very easy. If your racket has stopped and the same thing happens, then you have to start it again. And that can be really difficult. So it loses the rhythm of the ball. So lift the racket, show it to the ball right away. And then from there, the loop begins. Now the loop is a powerful way to play a ball because the size of the loop, and this is another thing about the brain that is absolutely amazing. The size of the loop will vary based on how fast the ball is coming in. My racket goes up to the same spot every time and it begins its loop. The minute my brain interprets that this ball is traveling very fast and is gonna arrive early, the loop shortens. So when you hear commentators or coaches say, shorten your swing, that's a voluntary issue. And it may work, but the more, more important thing is, if you're looping your racket, that shortening of the swing happens on its own. And the more often you can go into autopilot, the better player you're gonna be. That's an important feature, and you need to understand how important that is to your game. So getting yourself into a rhythmic motion, starting the racket, is a very important thing. A racket in motion can make all kind of corrections. A racket that is still and waiting you have to start it yourself, so the error ratio will go up immediately. When you loop the racket, this is not a mechanical effort. Your brain just does it for you. It's autopilot. It's a huge thing. So it's real important for you to understand that at some point, you have to convert your game into a flowing motion and not a structured mechanical effort. It will wear you out mentally to tell yourself to take your racket back. Why would you have to after you have hit so many tennis balls? If you will just let your racket do the work. And in doing so, you manage your swing. You manage the pace of the ball coming in. It makes it much simpler to do. Introducing the loop to the swing is huge, huge for bringing the player to the next level. Keep in mind that we're trying to make you a better player every day. And all we're doing is adding to your game. We're not taking away. So by adding this to your game, you're going to become a better player. I'm George Cobia. Thanks for coming to my court. Press the like button and subscribe.